the books that I send off to CBCS are back in record time. Uh, I think they it took a total of three weeks since uh, since I placed the order to when I got them back. So that's you know I, I shipped them off and uh, from the day that I, the day that I placed the order online to me getting them packed and shipped uh, to them coming back to my front door was about three weeks. So they did an incredibly fast job. So the question is, how did we do? Well, uh, as with this sort of thing, there's there's always some hits and misses, and you hope that you end up higher than you do lower. Um, overall, I did okay. Um, I think my prediction, my overall prediction of I, uh, I, I overestimate my own books while I underestimate other people's books held true. Uh, there were um, two rather large disappointments uh, and a, a couple of, of um, uh, mostly it was right where kind of I expected things to be, give or take half a point. Uh, with two fairly large disappointments and a, and a couple um, and a couple small wins, but overall, we we definitely ended up um, in a good spot. So let's start with the disappointments just to get those out of the way. Uh, the special Marvel edition number fifteen, the first appearance of Shang Chi. Uh, I was hoping for a seven zero. This was the biggest disappointment. Um, has a 5-0 check. Uh, if you're not familiar with the check system, uh, so you can see there's a, a little check mark on the 5-0. That means it was very, very, it's, it means it's a very good 5-0, that it's very close to a 5-5. Um, so this was the biggest sort of like, when I saw it, like, <gasps> what? Uh, so this, this book did have some damage to it, uh, what appears to be, have been some liquid damage, um, that presented itself on the outside, only on the back cover, uh, in very small amounts. Um, in the notes, uh, that appears to be a large part of what got it down to a 5.0. They they took they took off for that a lot more than I thought they would, um, as it 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 doesn't look any worse than a little bit of slight maybe sun staining, uh, but I guess because it is from a liquid, uh, they count off more. So I was real disappointed with that. So that being said. It is a very excellent presenting 5.0. Um, I mean, if I show you where, I don't know if you can even see uh, on the back, uh, probably especially without it, with it. Yeah, you can't really see. Um, it's in the upper left back and lower left back. Uh, just a little bit, you can see that there was some, there was some water damage. And like, like I said, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, they, they just took off a lot more than I thought. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, the second disappointment uh, was the Amazing Spider-Man forty-one, the first appearance of Rhino. Um, I had this um, at a at a seven five. It was equally equally disappointing because it came back a five five. Um, I mean, all the little stuff just sort of added up to a lot more than I thought it would. Um, there's sun damage, there's foxing, uh, there's, a, there's uh, evidently there's a, there's a lot more foxing on the interior cover than I had thought. Uh, I mean, the pages are off white to white, that's, that's great. Um, and uh, I mean, I, there are some color breaks on the cover, on the front, and I knew about that. Uh, and apparently they just, there, there's not one like really big color break, uh, but a lot of little slight color breaks. And I, again, I guess they added them up more to what, than, than what I thought it was going to be. So again, a very well presenting 5.5, but a 5.5 nonetheless. So those were my two big disappointments. Um, 
and they look really good. The, you know, there there was obviously no no problems with things like um, you know creases or anything like that because I had gotten all of those out. Uh, it's all just all the other little incidentals um, got it up there. So these, I'm, I'm really, I'm usually not one for replacing books because I, I usually do a pretty good job of getting something in the condition that I want the first time. Uh, those two, obviously, I did not. Um, so those, at some point, I may replace in my collection because I do want a higher grade of, of both of those books. But what are you going to do? It happens. All right, moving on. Um, Mr. Miracle, number one. Uh, this I had estimated at a six. It came back at six five, so that is uh, a win. This is one of the books that cleaned up really, really, really nice. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. Um, there's a lot of a lot of junk that I got off of this, uh, and it, it definitely paid off. Um, uh, and the, the press helped a lot, so paid off a lot on that and got it back a little bit higher than what I thought. Uh, Silver Surfer number three, the first appearance of Mephisto. Uh, this came back as six, which I think is right where, yeah, is right where I predicted it, a six. So, I mean, I, I, I think when you predict something, especially me, which when, when I, I grade my, my stuff to be higher than it probably actually is, uh, when I get something right on, that is, that's a win. That's a win. Um, I, I think why um, it didn't get, you know, I, I, I really was counting on getting dinged pretty hard on that flattened bottom part of the square binding, but it wasn't even mentioned in the, in the notes. Uh, and CBCS is really good about their notes. This is one of the reasons that I prefer CBCS over CGC. Is first of all, their notes are free. You don't have to pay for them like you do at C with CGC. And also, the notes are better. Um, I had a, I had a customer that uh, I did I did some work for, um, and uh, he sent he sent the stuff in it on his own to, to CGC, which is which is fine. I'm flexible with that. Um, and he had some like credit or something stored up there or something. Uh, and he he asked for the notes, and I think it was on it was like five or six books. Uh, and, uh, maybe it was with his tier or something. He got the notes for free or whatever, but he got the notes. Uh, and only one of those books came back with actual notes. Uh, and, and the only note was fingerprint on back, which duh, that, that was something we knew going into the process, uh, was that there was a fingerprint on the back, but it was, you know, it was like, what about the other books that were came back like a 9-2 or a 9-4. Why were they 9-2s and 9-4s and not 9-6s or 9-8s? That's what you need the notes for. And CGC just is not good at it. But CBCS, you get, I mean, you get exactly what they thought uh, counted against the book uh, and, and for free. Um, all right. So uh, I'm just kind of going down. The, the rest of this is in no particular order, just kind of going down the pile. Uh, X-Men number four, so first appearance of Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Toad, uh, and uh, the Brotherhood of uh, Mastermind, I believe, and uh, a Brotherhood of Evil, Evil Mutants. Second appearance of Magneto. Uh, this I had estimated at a six, and it came back a five five. Okay, that's 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 fair. Uh, I really wanted a six zero oh in in this book. Uh, five five. I don't know why that number five five bothers me so much. Um, I mean, any point five, you're always like, would have, I would have rather had the the point up, but of course it's better than the point down, the full point down. But something about a five five, like six six, kind of gets you to mid mid grade. Like I ah, just, well, just give me get the mid mid grade. Uh, so six is is what I would have liked to see on this. Um, but uh, considering the shape it was in beforehand, um, I'm I'm okay with that. That's that's a that's a good book to have um, in a in a low to mid grade. Uh, let's see next X Men number ten. This I had predicted at a seven, and uh, this is the first Silver Age appearance of Kazar and first Zabu, uh, and the introduction or the first uh, Savage Land. This came back a seven five. So again, this is this like the Mister Miracle it came back a little better than I thought. So that's great. Um, this is a, a, a nice 
a nice book to have in, in, in that grade. These low, these low X-Men books. So I am happy with that. Uh, next, the Thanos 13, the only modern book that I sent in. Um, this is the one I, I didn't end up doing any work on it. I sent it in as is uh, because I figured it was there, there, there wasn't anything to be gained by pressing it given that it had some problems with the corners. Um, just not, not dings, but where you can see sort of the light fraying both in the upper left and uh, lower left-hand corner on the spine. Uh, and and that's, again, that's just off the shelf. You're going to get that sometimes. So I, I predicted it was going to be uh, a 9.2 or a 9.4, given that. Um, and, I mean, it came back a, it came back a 9.6. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Obviously a 9.8. This had a 9.8 actually double, almost doubles in value from a 9.6 to a 9.8, uh, which is crazy. Um, it makes me think like, man, maybe maybe they didn't really care about that frame. Because <laughs> uh, the 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 um, notes that came back on this were sort of like slight bends or whatever that I probably could have gotten out for the pressing and might have been able to get that 9.8. So this might be something that at some point I crack um, and send in again. It might be might be worth that risk. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but but again, for for thinking it was going to be a nine two or nine four coming back a nine six, that's a win. I'm good with it. Uh, the Amazing Spider Man fifty. Um, this is the first appearance of the Kingpin. Uh, I predicted it at a six, uh, and it came back a six. Um, so, again, I, I count that as a win. Um, what confuses me on this, especially compared to the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 41, this has color breaks. Um, I mean, this is probably hard to see, but along, it's like, they're, they're like, right, there's color breaks kind of all along there. And overall, I think the color breaks on this vastly outnumber the color breaks on the uh, number 41. Uh, I gave the number 41, had some other uh, issues with it. Um, but overall, I think it was a much better looking book than, than the, the 50, but it came back half a point lower. So I, I, you know, with, with this grading stuff, sometimes you just, you don't, you think, you know, but you don't know. Uh, and I, you know, I've been, I've been doing this for, for quite a while now and you think like, you know, I'm, I have a pretty good percentage of, of being correct, but sometimes stuff comes back. Like you took that much off or that I just never would have. I would have thought, but I don't know. Uh, next is Marvel Spotlight 2, the first werewolf by night. Uh, this I had predicted at uh, a 7 and came back a 6.5. So, eh, you know, given my, my tendencies, we're probably pretty okay. Uh, you know, the first werewolf by night at a 6.5, and that point five bugs me. Um and, and, and it's, it's just me being a crazy person. It's like, man, I'd almost prefer a six over a six five <laughs> because I hate that point five just bugs the crap out of me. I don't know why. Um, and when it comes to eights, like eight five, I'm okay with an eight five. I'm pretty okay with a seven five. Six five, like yeah, just give me a six would be just as good. I, I don't know. I'm just, I just my compulsive order whatever i don't know what it is but at six five i'm i'm okay with a six five on this uh there there is um there there i mean there was a fold up here there's no longer a fold but the, it, it did have a color break so that's and it's a pretty significant color break that's going through there um and uh um some some fading this i think i think this is actually that um is uh, actually, I think I think it's misprint, um, but it cleaned up real nice, so I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, and the last one was the Ghost Rider number one, uh, which I predicted at an eight, and it came back an eight. So again, yeah, if 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 I guess correctly, I still consider that a win, or predict correctly. Uh, so this at an eight, I'm I'm okay. It is, it's not a point five anything. Uh, so, but again, 8.5 for some reason, I'm totally okay with, but 5.5 and 6.5 just send me chills. Uh, but this is, this is, this is, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this book at an eight. Uh, it's, it's, um, I wouldn't have been surprised if it came back higher. It's a very well presenting eight, but there is, 
Uh, there is a very, very small, you can probably even see on this tear at the bottom, which uh, I guess is, it's the biggest thing against it. If it wasn't for that, and maybe a little bit of um, foxing yeah, on the back too, but if it wasn't for that, it probably would have been an 8.5. Uh, but I mean, obviously, obviously if there wasn't a tear on that, it would have come back higher, duh. Um, but anyway, uh, so overall, um, overall, it's okay. The disappointments, the, the problem is, is the, is the things that are disappointments, they weigh heavier because they are disappointments. And I feel that those two, especially the special Marvel edition, uh, weighed really, really heavy, um, on me. Uh, but when I look at the numbers, when I look at the numbers, it, it unequivocally came back a win. So books that were, that I previously had worth, uh, $2,250, I would now say are worth $3,430. So that's an increase of almost $1,200, um, which is about a 50% increase in value. That's not bad. Um, now, overall, um, I paid about, uh, I paid just right about on $280 to have them graded. Uh, so the return on investment is about 320%. That's not bad on a return on investment. 320% is a pretty good return on investment. And that, that's just for the grading, the grading um, process. Um, obviously, I, I didn't charge myself anything um, for the work that I did on it. Um, but even if I did, oh man, if I were just to throw out a number, I don't, that's, uh, I, yeah, I probably should have thought of that ahead of time. Um, but I, I'm guessing even with the work cost in there, probably would have been a good 200% return on investment if, if I had charged myself for, um, for the work, who knows? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to just willingly throw something out there. Uh, so again, the, the, the benefit of the, 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 the cleaning, the detailing, the pressing, um, and the grading, uh, off of my predictions, I think only one book actually kind of went down the, the, uh, in, in my, in my, my overall spreadsheet of calculations. And that's the, um, Amazing Spider-Man 41. Cause I had that as, as higher, uh, unslabbed and it came back so low slabbed. It was a, a lower value than the unslabbed I had it at. Uh, the special Marvel edition 15 came back at like right at the same price as what I had the value at unslabbed because what actually came back slabbed. Um, so, uh, I don't know. It is, it is what it is. What do you, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so, so that's it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what do you, what do you, do you think I should crack that Thanos 13 and, and, and press it and give it a, give it another go. The next time I send stuff in, I'm, I'm already starting to compile a list of the next things to send in. That's always, always happening is as, as soon as I send something in, something else comes up like, Ooh, I can send this into uh, for the, the next time around. Um, but let me know, uh, let me know what, what sort of things, uh, what are you, some of your, uh, grading wins and losses? Uh, let me know in the comments, um, subscribe, like all that stuff. Uh, and, uh, we will see you next time. Later. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.